Hi everyone, trust you're all keeping safe. I want to show you how to create a simple field map chart in Excel. The field map is available in Excel 2019 and Microsoft 365. You can use the map to show data across geographical regions. This implies that you must have fields like countries, states, or postal codes in your data. Excel can insert either a value or category map based on your data. I'll illustrate both in this video. These are the top 10 countries with COVID cases according to the Johns Hopkins University. To insert a map, highlight the data, go to the Insert tab. Under Maps, click Field Map. Now that the map has been created, you'll notice that countries with higher cases have a darker color compared to those with lower cases. You can tell from the legend. If you over your mouse across the countries, you'll get details about the country. You can focus on individual countries by clicking on any of them. Looks interactive, right? <laughs> like a Power BI chart. <laughs> You can add data labels from the chart elements icon. Check this box. Click on more options. You can check out the boxes if you want. I'll leave them unchecked. I don't want the chart to look busy. You can also adjust the design right here in the chart styles icon. You can select your preferred style or change the colors. You can also double click the chart to open the format pane where you can adjust the series option and colors. Let's start with series options. The map projection allows you to change the map's projection style. I'll leave this as automatic. You have the option of changing the map's zoom level right here in the map area. You can choose to display only regions with data. Take a look at the map or you select the world view. Automatic works just fine for this. You can add map labels here if you want to. The best fit will display names that will fit within each country. Or you select show all and Excel will automatically insert the name of each country in the map. Take a look at the source data. This shows that Excel recognizes country abbreviations because the full name United States has been displayed correctly. Now let's move to series color. Excel automatically assigns colors to each country based on your choice between the sequential two color or diverging three color option. The cool thing is that Excel allows you to customize your color based on set criteria by number or percentage. Any value lower or equal to the set value in the minimum category will have the same color. Any value higher or equal to the set value in the maximum category will have the same color. Let's demonstrate that quickly using the number option. Let's make cases below 5 million yellow and cases above 9 million red. Take a look at the map. Russia, United Kingdom, France, Spain, Italy, Turkey and Germany are now yellow. Brazil, India and the US are red. You can follow the same process for the three color option. If you want to adjust any section of the chart, you can click on the drop down here to make a selection. Let's select le legend for legend options. You can adjust the position of the legend. I like to leave mine at the top right so the default position works fine. Now the data has categories instead of numbers. So I like the data, go to the insert tab, under maps, click field map. 
Everything we discussed in the previous example applies to this chart, except for the series color option. This is because each category has a distinct color. You can tell from the legend. The cool thing about the legend is that it's interactive, so you can click on any category to highlight the countries within the category. Cool stuff. Double click the chart to open the format pane. You can see that only series options are displayed. There is no two or three color option for a category map. However, you can change the colors of each category or select your preferred style from the chart styles icon or in the design tab. If you have Microsoft 365, the geography data type makes the map chart even more useful. All you have to do is select the countries and go to the data tab. Under data types, select geography. Keep your eyes on the data list. Excel has converted the data to a geography data type, which is connected to an online source. You can click on the icon beside each country to view a card that reveals a list of fields. Let's try the US. Um, the online source is not up to date. They have a new president. <laughs> well, we can view the source at the bottom of the list. For the purpose of this tutorial, I like the entire list. Click on this icon to view and insert different fields in a new column. Let's insert GDP. To display this data on the chart, click on the map and drag the series to GDP. There you go. Please note that it is possible to get a blank map or an error where there might be more than one similar location in the world. However, you can point Excel in the right direction by separating the state and the country into separate columns. This will guide Excel in the right direction. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. I'll see you in the next video.